Lawrence, our first sign of the January transfer window. You must be delighted to be in on. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm very happy. You know, it's been a long process, you know, waiting. But, you know, I'm really happy. It'll be, uh, hopefully, a sign of good things to come. You've been on the books at Tottenham, Liverpool, two Premier League giants. You must have worked with the best in the industry um, and you must have learnt a lot there. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, um, when you train every day, you try and pick up things from each player you've trained with. And, you know, I've been lucky that I've been, been able to work with some really good goalkeepers and really good players in general and pick up different traits from them and, and try and implement them in my game. And from there, you've got over 100 caps for uh, Swindon Town. Uh, you must have learned a lot as a goalkeeper there and really developed. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was good. You know, I worked with, with the current manager um, at Swindon and, uh, you know, it was good. We played a really good, expansive style of football and I think it really helped me in my game to, to turn into what I am today and I think I'm, I can help the team and if I can help the team in any way I can, you know, I'm, I'll be really happy to do that. You mentioned Ross Embleton there. How big of a factor was he to actually come and join Orin? Yeah, you know, it was massive because, you know, I still speak to Ross. I spoke to Ross most days and... You know, uh, if there ever was the opportunity that arose to, I could come here, you know, it was always something that I wanted to do because uh, he's something I've got a lot of trust and faith in. And uh, he, you know, he's really helped me out in my career. He's, he's really good to talk to. And, you know, uh, he was 100% the, the, the factor of me in me coming here. And there's other people that you know, of course, James Brophy, one of them, Mike Cooper, the fitness coach, uh, and, and Martin Ling as well. Yeah, you know, I worked with, with Martin at Swindon. He was my manager as well. Uh, yeah, he was another really good guy and you know he helped me out a lot as well and then obviously I've played with Brof, I've played with with Liango and obviously I've worked with with Mikey the fitness coach so you know it's, it's obviously I'm going to meet new players today um in the next few days and you know uh, yeah like, I'm happy because at least I've got a few people that I already know and I can you know can can integrate with the team quite quickly and as a goalkeeper how would you describe yourself what are your strengths on the pitch uh no I like to play with the ball at my feet you know uh I think that with the way football's going now, I think um, a lot of goalkeepers need to be good with their feet. And yeah, no, I, I think um, I can help in that aspect. And I think I can, you know, you know, making saves is what every goalkeeper can do. You know, is the other things that come along with it. So I think um, as long as I can do that and and show my show show myself to the to the fans and the and the people at the club, hopefully it'll be a sign of something good. And you're a London lad, but you represent Chile, and and you've been called up for their senior national team several times now. That you must be really proud of that. Yeah, you know, it was another one. You know, you get to play with, well, get to train and play with really good players that you know some of them are world class level. So you don't see that every day. And you know, when I, I was really privileged that I got the opportunity to go with them, and you know, we went to some some really good places in the world, and we played against different styles, different cultures, and. No, it's just a learning process, you know. It's like every day I want to learn. I'm still only 26 years old, so I just want to get better and 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 improve every day. Sam Sargent has recently capitalised on Dean Brill being injured and has has had a, a run of first team games. And you must be looking to come in now and really implement yourself. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, in football, there's uh, there's competition in every place. So you know, I've seen a few of the games, and Sam's done really well. So you know, it's going to be a real challenge for me to try and try and get the shirt off him. But you know. As long as the team can, it's all about the team really, as long as we do well and, you know, whether, what, how, how I feel, how Sam feels, how anyone feels is second because we need to get wins and, you know, we're 19th, 18th in the league and we need to start picking up wins quickly. So I think uh, competition is, is healthy always. So I think it'll be, it'll be good to, to have the, 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 the training battle with him. So it's the 2nd of January, the club had moved quickly to get you in. Um, how did this move actually come about? Uh, you know, like I said, I was speaking to Ross quite a lot, quite a lot you know. Uh, he's, uh, he's had a big Im impact in my career, you know. So uh, we always said, like, you know, if, if the opportunity arose and, you know, we would obviously have to speak in, in more detail. But, you know, uh, I would never have, never have come in, you know, without Ross at the club, Ross or Martin, because, you know, they were... They were big. They were big impacts for me in my career, and you know I, I really appreciate everything they've done for me, and hopefully I can repay that now here. Brilliant, Lawrence. Looking forward to seeing you on the field. Thank you very much. Thank you.